Hello everyone, Kelly Bear here. Um, I'm back again, back again. Uh, for those of you who saw my previous video, yes, it was filmed on the same day and wearing the same outfit. It was filmed literally about 10 seconds after I finished filming my December favourites video. Oh, hang on, trying to. Hello, Boobala. Hello, Nomster. Dr. Nomi has come in to say hello. Are you okay? Do you want a cuddle? Oh, she wants a cuddle. Oh, sure. Surprise doggy visit. Hello. Hello. Mummy's trying to film. Oh, thank you. Mummy's trying to film a video, darling. You want loves? I'll go to the PA okay later. I've got to run some errands and, 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 and have some lunch and so many things to do. Not enough time. Not enough time to do them all. No. No. Oh, I love her. So cute. Say hi everyone. Hi. Oh, I know you want to love, don't you? Well, very distracting. Just can't deal with the cuteness. <laughs> Mommy, put you down there for a wee bit. Let me finish the video and then we can have some playtime, okay? Anyway, so I was in the middle of getting ready this morning and the doorbell went when, wang, wing, rang is the word I was trying to say. <laughs> the doorbell rang and I knew what it was because there's only one thing that I've ordered and this was ordered at the end of December. I think it was on the 30th of December during Kelly Fitz's live chat where she was talking about her favourite decks of the year. So I'm trying to put my slipper back on. My slipper came off my foot and now my foot is cold and I can't be having cold feet because if I have cold feet or cold hands rest of me feels cold that's just how I am um and she was talking about the weavers oracle and actually the weavers oracle was on my Christmas wish list for my mum um and then she was like oh I don't really like ordering stuff online I'm going to give you money for all the things that you want and you can buy them and some of the things that I wanted was sort of like art uh art tools and like crafting tools um but a couple of the things were just for me and one of the things that was just for me was the weavers oracle and so when i saw kelly's video it reminded me that oh shit i need to order that as soon as i now have this gift money i'm going to order it so i did so it's been on my list for ages ages oh my goodness this is one of these huge ones Huge! This this packaging is just uh, is ginormous. So, those of you that have spent any amount of time on my channel knows that I'm not massively into oracles. Um, I really enjoy the system of the um, tarot. And I find a lot of oracles to be a bit sort of namby pamby, wishy washy. You know, there's like some sort of angel like giving a unicorn a bath and there's rainbows in the background and I, don't get me wrong I love cute shit but some of them are so corny it makes me want to like vomit on myself to be honest and then there's words like abundance light worker magical and I'm just like oh for fuck's sake what am I supposed to even do with that and they just make me annoyed actually and a lot of them they don't even get me started on the amount of like white people doing like fucking sort of ethnic whatever it is they say like or like churning out a bazillion and one fucking oracle decks a year and they're all like a slight if not slightly then incredibly appropriative and it just really grinds my gears oh so the company is seventh wave music and i oh it's like a they've got they've given me a little catalog of their other goods this is quite cool nigel shaw and carolyn hiller hiller or hillier hillier um hill yeah <laughs> sorry carolyn um but yeah it's oh it has a big box now the story behind this is amazing i believe the artwork was created throughout this artist's lifetime um and from what i know or hear from people that have this deck um people like kelly fitz who um is massively the fan of this deck um say that it's it's very intense not like camping intense like intense as in intense um i don't know why i had to clarify that that was that was obvious but you know what i mean <laughs> holy 
two. Oh, ow. Um, so, oh, there's another, oh, it's that really nice card that has that sort of waxy, but oh, of course my my phone's ringing, I've had to switch that off, that's my uh, my friend that I work with, my photographer friend, I hope she doesn't mind, I'll call her back afterwards. The box is gorgeous, although I can hear there's some like, shaking around, which is a bit disturbing, let's see, ooh, so you open it, we get... It's in a bag, which is awesome. And the book, which I like the look of because it's like spiral bound. So you can like um, fold it back on itself, which I rather enjoy because I am one of those people that like properly abuses their books with tabs and scribbling notes in and highlighting and, and, and dog earing pages and folding and breaking the spine. You know, they're tools for me. My reference books, I mean, generally not my, my fiction books, not my reference books. For me, they're tools, or they're meant to be. I can do what the fuck I want with them. People are like, oh no, don't do that. What if you want to sell it on again? I'm like, well, I actually quite enjoy getting people's secondhand books with their notes in, um, and like tabs in. It feels like it's been well loved. I don't, I don't I, that doesn't bother me. And if it if it bothers someone else, then they don't have to like fucking buy it, do they? <laughs> Simple. <laughs> so the cards are quite big, from what I know. Yeah, but this is an oracle deck, so you're not going to be, you know doing massive 12 card spreads i mean you might do i don't know but i think it's how many cards are in here not a huge i can't remember how many cards are in here 52 cards the same as a, as a pack of playing cards um but kelly fitz says that she can only really work with one of these cards at a time she doesn't really do spreads with them because they're so intense and you have like a lesson and each character is really like has has something to teach you and you can sort of they're more the kind of thing that you you sit with and um contemplate and work with over, over a, a certain length of time so apparently there's like different groups as well so we've got like uh shamans mothers crones grandmothers and then there's different um different groupings it's like divided up in a certain way so let's see it's just talking about the um how long it's taken to make and and the inspiration for it but I don't want to like sit and, and start reading reading all of that so obviously once I've worked with this deck for a bit I will want to do a proper review so this is literally is an unboxing and first impressions and it's been a while since I've looked at any videos with this um, deck in it other than the odd card that Kelly showed in her video on Sunday um, I, I you know so I don't know what can't remember or don't know what all the cards look like oh wow this really makes me think of marie white's work as well the mary l i'm really excited for the um the new version of the mary l to see what it's like this cardstock is really beautiful and matte and sort of velvety as well um because if it is a sort of matte version i think i will finally pick it up because it is on my wish list and i did allow myself to excuse me I, I you know I said it will be a low buy year rather than a no buy year and that I was allowed to buy you know if I got the itch one of the decks every now and then off of my wish list but I wasn't allowed to add any more to my wish list I, this is one of my favorite ones that I remember seeing in the walkthrough <laughs> her face her face just tells a story and I think that's the thing that I really liked the look of about this deck and the fact that it's um that it's got a system to it and that there's a it's been it's taken so many years to create um I mean these faces and actually I think this might work quite nicely alongside my tarot of the crone which is a deck that I worked with in October and the beginning of November for sort of um, shadow work and, and ancestor work, death work, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think this is, oh, wow, really powerful images. It's quite interesting, though, because each of the pictures um, seems to be a slightly different size. And some of them, so these are these two obviously are sort of painted on a, a narrower 
thing, narrow a piece of card or paper or canvas, and then other ones seem to be sort of more like this one, for example, seems to just be sort of a straight up close up. Or they're simply painted on a canvas with a black background, maybe. But uh, I know this, this deck isn't everyone's cup of tea, but for me... Now it's interesting because we see people from all walks of life and all cultures. So it'll be interesting to me to see if this does feel like a sort of honouring that kind of deck or whether it maybe does feel appropriative. From what I've seen and read and heard, it isn't. But because it's, I'm not saying I don't I think people think, oh, well, no one's allowed to do anything or use anything or appreciate anything from any other cultures. And that is definitely not the case. But, you know, the line is grey and it's a bit wibbly wobbly. We just have to be careful, you know, we need to be mindful and, and then keep our ears open and our minds open, you know. So, oh, this is stunning. And the cardstock just feels yummy. Look at these. Storm, weathered woman of the dark drum. Oh, she looks very serious. Mist, weathered woman of the mazy dance. Oh, love this artwork, it's amazing. Oh, snow, weathered woman of the skin mask. Hope it's picking up in this light. Really, really stunning. Oops, putting them back down the wrong way. So, wow. She looks like she belongs on the runway. Look at those like fierce cat claw nails. <laughs> Weathered woman of the diamond blade, ice. Her hair is pretty awesome. I love that outfit. Wolf. Udigan of the berry pouch. There are men in here. Nomad Udigan of the fish girdle. I, I can't wait to read the book and sort of work out what the system is all about and what all these different um, families, I think they're called different families or different tribes. Um, oh, wow. But yeah, it's something I can't wait to get, st get stuck in with. And I wanted it for this year because I want to use it alongside the great work. Wow. Ochre. Oh, stunning. Stunning. Oh, look at this guy. Amazing. Oh, wow. There's some younger people in here as well, though. Runner, shaman weaver of valleys. Their faces are so lifelike and full of stories. I feel like I want to sit down with each of them and, and listen to what they have to tell me. I guess that's the point, though, isn't it? So these are the, 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 the weavers, I guess. It's the weaver's oracle. Wow, lichen, shaman weaver of wild hills. So see that the tapestries um, represent what it is that they're the weaver of. Oh, so the desert has more sort of red, red tones and dry, warm, hot colours. And then the weaver of the meadows is a young girl and she's got sort of all the flowers and the, and the bright greens and golds. It's more of a summery. That face, amazing. Wow, Weather of the Forest. So yeah, so they all have... The tapestries are beautiful. Beautiful, I love the purples. Weaver of the Islands. It looks like there's some tartan going on in there, yep, in that tapestry. Stunning. Oceans colours in this. I love that it's against a black background as well. It really makes the colours pop. 
and absorbs any because the cards matte as well it just absorbs any um, light around it and so you're just focusing on the the character on these cards on the cards really intense eyes there so stunning this is a bit i think this is similar to the back a little bit the back isn't is a tapestry um and these are the last few weavers of the tundra so this person looks like an inuit possibly um and then we have the bleeding woman hope the bleeding woman lament the illuminating woman oh my god just Looks like her body's covered in tattoos. Oh, I'm in love. Solitude, the dissolving woman. And silence, the hollowing woman. Wow. So, well, this is nice to finally have it in my hands um yeah i feel kind of ready for this yeah so let's see oh they're clans not tribes laying out the threads clans and oh, clans and tribes so there's loads of different clans and then there's these sort of this like oracle map no idea no idea it looks really like this this is what i liked about it not only is the artwork beautiful um it's beautifully presented um the way that it was created is really lovely but there is this system there is a system to it i i you know so we've got um for each person that is represented in the deck um you have their yarn their braid and their cloth so you get you st obviously you start off with the yarn you then end up with a braid and from that you make you weave a cloth so it's sort of the it's sort of a process so there's like a story and oh my god oh my god i've got goosebumps so anyway this was a very quick video for me at least um just giving my first impressions i'm super excited about this i think this is going to go really nicely with the depth gear i think it's going to work really nicely alongside the uh, tarot of the crone as i said as well um and i will put a link to where you can buy it below it is a uk based independently produced deck um it is 48 pounds but the shipping is free and that's what put me off buying it was that it was so expensive but then on reflection you know I've, I've paid 45 pounds for a deck on little red tarot so what's three quid and actually it's three pound 50 for untracked shipping on little red tarot so i've spent like 48 50 on a deck and this was 48 because shipping was free so it works out like the same i don't know like we do weird things with our head don't we so yeah that was that thank you for watching um let me know what you think of this deck do you have it and do you love it i know some people passed it on i know simon of the hermit's cave passed his copy on because he said it would felt it was a more sort of a woman's deck so i'll be interested to see if that's the case um and yeah it if you do have it have you found it useful or is it intimidating to you and you've not really used it um or is it on your wish list? Is it something that you that you want that you want to um, work with uh, this year? So let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Ciao.